All right, everyone, hey, welcome or welcome back. This is Alt Function and my name is Jen. In this series, we are demystifying the dark web. So far, we've gone over what the dark web is, kind of a 101, and how to access the dark web. Now, in this series, it's gonna be a little bit of a offshoot as I'm going to be going over VPN, to use VPN or not to use VPN with Tor. I've seen a couple different opinions on this online and I'm here to answer it definitively in two words for you today. It depends. All right, I know that's not necessarily the answer that you wanted, However, it's true. For each individual, you're going to have to consider what risks you're willing to take, what you're trying to accomplish, and meet in the middle somewhere. So first off, what is VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and at a high level is a technology that establishes a secure encrypted connection over the public network, typically between your device and a remote server. The encrypted connection creates a tunnel which your data travels through. In theory, a VPN should be great. However, it really comes down to trust and what you're trying to do. Now, as we kind of talked about in one of the previous episodes, your internet service provider can see your data. And the idea is in a perfect world, the VPN would hide that information from your internet service provider. However, many times the VPN company will collect your data. So it's almost like pick your poison. There have been instances of VPN companies saying that they don't collect your data. However, this data mysteriously shows up when FBI investigations roll through. So think of it this way, any VPN service that you purchase could be collecting your data and that data could be auditable by government agencies. So disclaimer, the pros and cons that I'm going to be making here today, assuming that you have done your research and you are comfortable with the VPN provider that you have chosen. Only you as an individual can truly do a risk assessment. That disclaimer being out there, let's go get to some of the pros and cons of using VPN with Tor. First up, let's go over a couple of the pros. VPN, in theory, would give you an extra layer of encryption and protection, especially on that first hop from your computer to the guide relay. We talked about in a previous video, when using Tor, there are three different hops going from the user, guide relay, middle relay, and exit relay. However, that first hop from user to guide, your IP is exposed. So if you use a VPN prior to connecting to Tor, this hop would essentially be encrypted. Again, now the VPN service has your IP. Number two, and the most legitimate reason I can think of for using VPN while accessing Tor is bypassing restrictions. If you're in a situation where Tor is blocked and you're trying to access it, you might be able to use a VPN to access Tor and bypass the restriction. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and go on to some of the cons. This con, and probably the one that's most relevant, is you have no idea what the VPN service provider is collecting. They might say that they're not collecting your data, however, you can never really be sure. Con number two, performance. Tor by itself is already a really heavy lift on your resources. Adding a VPN can strain them more and make your searching really slow. Number three, which is a little obscure, is even VPN can be seen as suspicious activity in some jurisdictions. You might think, oh, that's weird. This user is only using VPN during these very small periods of time, but not the rest of the time that they're browsing. This could be a dead giveaway that the user is doing something that they don't want other people to find out about. So that being said, best practices, if you do decide that you're going to use a VPN, is to consistently use VPN, even when you're not browsing with Tor. That wraps up my quick pros and cons using VPN with Tor. Key takeaway is VPN might not be as anonymous as it seems, and adding it while Tor browsing might not be worth the risk of them being able to collect your data. And additionally, there are legitimate use cases like getting around blocks on Tor. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Demystifying the Dark Web. This is Alt Function. My name is Jen, and if you'd like to join me on the next episode, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. See you later.